But before I get on with the show, a tribute. Peter Reith has died and we've lost the kind of politician that's rare. Peter Reith is a former Howard government minister who was uh, 72, died after a long illness. Very tragic. And I knew Peter best when he was a regular guest on my show back on Channel 10. The last time I saw him, I think, was at a party at my house. He gave me honey from his farm. He was very proud of it. But I miss him not just because he was a generous, warm man, not full of himself, very straight, no spin. I miss him because he had political courage. He'd do the right thing even when the media would tear him to pieces. Now, one thing particularly sums this up. Reith was his industrial relations minister in the new Howard government and was early on in charge of reforming a waterfront that was grossly inefficient under the thumb of the Marxist Maritime Union of Australia. The whole thing was killing exporters. So in came a private operator who sacked the workers who wouldn't accept reform. And he hired non-union workers who had to be protected with lots of security and even dogs as the union organised huge protests backed by Labor. And at times it got really vicious. Of course, much of the media was dead against what the Liberals were doing, allowing this to happen, trying to establish order, even though the government had set up a $250 million scheme to pay the redundancies of the sacked workers. Now, the showdown was really tough, and it lasted for many, many weeks, and the government copped plenty. Reith copped plenty. But he just took it. Has there ever been a genuine, you know, decent, uh, you know, biffo on the waterfront? when there hasn't been a lot of emotion and a lot of aggression and where it hasn't been tough for both sides. So you could say, well, the government took a beating. Well, every government's taken a beating in the past on waterfront reform. Uh, we took a bit more beating than usual, but then again, we're the only ones who ever got anything done either. Never got anything done. That's the spirit. I mean, you ask yourself, what exactly did the Turnbull government get done? The Morrison government. So yes, I miss Peter Reith and the ministers around him from John Howard down who did think that some things really were worth fighting for in the national interest, even when your character is being ripped to shreds.